we've got something else for our audience. Smooth and soft and dull, rough feet at home or between professional pedicures with the Clarisonic Pedisonic Foot Transformation System. It's a big title, but it's worth it. This is today's showstopper at the Shopping Channel, and everyone in today's audience will be taking home a Clarisonic. <laughs> Enjoy. If you're in a marriage, you might be feeling the strain. We've got Dr. Karen Gordon here to help us out to strengthen your marriage, perhaps save it if it's in crisis. For some Only reason, two minutes. in two minutes, yeah. you're going to save all of our marriages. Uh, you know, everybody seems to think these days, and I don't know if it's the instant gratification mm. of everything social media, but that the grass is always greener. You just need to stay yeah. home and fertilize your own lawn. Oh, like your the, grass yeah, will get that's greener. Good. I like that metaphor, Tracy. That's so, good. So let's talk a little bit about practical tips that we might be able to yeah. use uh, to, to help our marriages. Okay, so we're talking about how to reboot your marriage, and uh, this isn't going to fix all the problems, yeah. but it will certainly kind of at least get it restarted. So, oh my goodness, was it busy uh, the last few days on Twitter and Facebook? I got a gazillion amount of responses, uh -huh. which is literally I had to kind of sort through them. Also asked our studio audience with what they would actually be recommending. So this was kind of cool. Leanne and Terry here are in our audience, mm -hmm. and uh, they actually, uh, what, what did they actually do? They actually came to City Line today for a date. They're on a date! Yeah. They're on a date! I love it! That I is love great. so great! And the other thing that Leanne said, which I thought was great, is that she packs his lunch every day. Oh, wow. Okay, so I'm a little inspired. So that was Leanne. That's amazing. Okay. I hate even packing my kids' lunches. <laughs> I know, right? I don't know if uh, I could add my husband her, to that. Her, ta her tagline was, yeah, you got to make sure you got to keep him around. And you know, like for a lot of husbands, <laughs> you got to cook, man. You got to cook. Yeah. Okay, so on Twitter, Catherine said an afternoon sex to your partner, letting them know that you can't wait to see them at home. Oh, a sext is in like a text, a yes. sext. I'm yes. so old. Yes, What's wrong I know. With me? So texting with a sexy message. Yeah. Uh, I'm on it. Laura uh, on Twitter said, hold hands in public like 16-year-old. Jerry Lee said, um, which I appreciate from a guy's perspective, send your girlfriend or your wife flowers to their work. Surprise yeah. them. That's nice. It's the easy things, right? Yeah. Um, Paula Comfort on Facebook said, physical activity. Um, Carla Wood said, just try to see each other, which I thought was kind of a cool one. Okay. Just try to see, see each other. Like each stop, other. stop look, and actually look connect, and see. Talk. Yes. That's um, a good one. Another one that I like, Lori Galman, who I worked with on the Mom Show for years, she said, oh, kiss yeah. like you mean it. Oh, I like that oh, one. Oh, yeah, right? I like that one. Sometimes yeah. Leo kiss tries like to do a throwaway it. kiss. I'm like, oh, no, yeah. no, no, no. We're doing yeah. that again. Let's do that one one more yeah. time. All right. That's a good uh, one. Uh, Carolyn McClellan said, unplug at all meals. So literally put all your phones and all your technology oh, actually sure. away. I think that's good for the kids, that too. That one's really good. Michelle Osborne said, sex, sex, and more sex. <laughs> and then her husband said, oh, yeah, uh, <laughs> for the next line. Listen, let's talk about some of the tips. Like, there's really great, uh, there's so there's many. Really great, great feedback. But some of this encompasses uh, your first point, which is, Talk less and have more fun. Yeah, so I kind of put so together. lighten things up a little lighten bit. Lighten things up. So here are my five. Number one is sometimes I think we over talk as women. Yeah. I think we over talk. Talk forever. We talk forever. Mm -hmm. We want to analyze. We want to dissect. And it's kind of fun because I'm a counselor. This is what we do at our at our center. Yeah. But you know, one of the things when we're working with couples, one of the things we do is we actually try to get them to rewind the clock and think about when was it you actually started first connecting. Let's talk about your dating life. Yeah. And what are the ways that you actually connected? And a lot of times that will actually give you all kinds of clues around what actually drew the couple actually to. Each each other in the first place. So, yeah. uh, so uh, tip number one is really to think about uh, what are the things that you actually love to do for fun. Mm -hmm. Kind of prioritize what are the top three things you like to do for fun and actually make that a priority. Okay. So talk less and just start being and enjoying. You know what? It's like enjoying your spouse a little bit more. I like the idea of lightening up because lightening, things get yes. the mundane. It tends yes. to get really serious and boring. Like lighten it up a little bit. Be silly. Yes. Be fun. All those things yes. you did when you were dating. And especially for a lot of husbands, this is gonna that will be a good draw for them. Yeah. Number two is go to bed at the same time. Yeah, that's. A Important it's a really important time. I was going to bed way too late. Brett was even going to bed later, and we kind of made a goal to get to bed at 10:30. Mm -hmm. And it just, again, if you want to be physically intimate, you got to be physically beside each other. Yeah. Right. Like, you, yeah. I'm just kind of like, so we got, you know, so you have to make sure you're you're being beside each other, and you yeah. can be reading together, you can just talk, or you know, whatever wanna, you know. Yeah. You whatever at least happens, have, man, just let the let the chemistry flow. You've got a fighting chance at having sex yes. if you're actually beside yes. them. Yes. Yes. That's really yes. what that's your, about. Your chance. It might just happen. gone up a little He's bit. He's right, right here. <laughs> There's opportunity. Right? There's opportunity. It does make sense. Uh, another tip is actually make a sex goal. Okay. 
I like it. What Let's I want feedback. Yeah. This. Well, you know what? We make we make goals for everything else. Financial yeah. goals, weight goals. Why not make a sex goal? So I want to do it this many times in a in week. A, yes. <gasps> yes. Yes. Okay. Honestly, I think this is actually really good. And, and we should and do it on Tuesdays and Thursdays for the whole year. You could. Every Saturday. You at three. could. You could. Whatever. 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 whatever, whatever, whatever three. Listen. What I would actually say when you're with this one, just keep it realistic. So you know, okay. we've done before. You know, people that are like having literally sex once a month. Right. Okay. So let's not go from once a month to once every day. Right. Go for progress, <laughs> folks. Go for progress. So if Be it's realistic. like once every month, then maybe you go for like you know three times a month. I this like is goals. actually you know I'll talk with my girlfriends around how much we're all having sex. It's actually quite interesting. With yeah. Some people are having a lot, and some people are not having at all. Yeah. We had a big sex talk on Did my uh, girls' on your, weekend. Really? We talked about everything. We talked about the kids. We talked about yeah. marriage. We talked about sex. Yeah. And it was interesting, like all the different situations that came up. I think we really helped each other. Yeah. That's yeah. good. It Talk to good. your girlfriends about it. Why not? And you know, it's sometimes I think people are a little bit embarrassed around yeah. it. Um, but not I think me. it's just, yeah, not you. <laughs> not but me. I think the important, the important thing is you're making it a priority. You're, you're yeah. keeping your eyes focused with what's actually important. Um, and the other one is you want to be, I call it Grateful George and not Negative Nelly. Yeah. So I am telling you, this Stop is like, nip, nip it, oh my goodness, this is like one of the biggest issues for a lot of couples is that we start nitpicking, we start getting negative and critical and pointing at all the things that our partner is not doing instead of actually mm -hmm. focusing on with what they are doing. And here's a psychology around motivation. If you really want to motivate and inspire somebody, you need to let them know first what they're doing well. Mm -hmm. So if you're like this negative Nelly wife and you're nitpicking and being critical of your husband and wondering yeah. why he doesn't want to come home and right. talk to you, you know, you, the, the writing's on the wall. You really want to make sure that you're being much more uh, nurturing and positive towards uh, your spouse. Bosses take note. Yes. That is a very yes. good tip, right? Yes. All right, let's go to break. Great tips. <laughs>